this is Robin and we are back and I'm with Mammy and we are going to do bumblebees. So I'm going to start out with, oh I've started out with a uh, sinful color called Fusion Neon number 60 and I am going to go in and we picked the, the cutest one ever times a hundred and you just do a little black head like this and then a little black body it's a little bigger than the head, okay? So it looks like that. Then with, oops, ah. Then with um, a tiny little flip of the brush, you pull up, and that will be his little stinger. Okay, so that we're gonna let him dry like that, and I'm gonna do little ones around like this. So we'll do little heads, dink. Little or body, little fat bodies and then pull it out so it has a little stinger. Bink! Do another one here. And... Bink! This is what I do instead of 4th of July nails. <laughs> I don't do a lot of 4th of July nails. I don't do a lot of like... I don't, I don't do traditional... Ah, I don't know. I end up doing, um, okay, so I did those three, so I'm going to do, like, I want them all to be different. I don't want them to look like stickers, and so we're just going to put little heads on here, a little bigger body, pull it out into a stinker, stinger, and then I'm going to do one facing the opposite way here with a bigger body, pull it out for his stinger, and then um, I think I'm going to do a thumb and then we will go to the next one. Alright, so now with um, the next step I'm going to go into his little head and do a little tiny antenna. Why am I always doing antenna on you, Mammy? I always <laughs> have little bugs. <laughs> I'm always painting little tiny bugs on you. I like things that fly. The little tiny bug antennas. So there's that, and I'm going to go and do one, that on all of them. And then on the ones that do not have the bugs, we are going to do little lines like this. Just a few. Not too obtrusive. I don't want these to be like the dominating thing in this design. Then with just two little things, I just want little tiny little sweet little leaves. Like that. All through the ones that don't have the bugs. Okay, now with the yellow, I'm going in just very quickly and making little tiny little bee stripes. I want about three on each bee, like that. Okay, <laughs> there's another right here. And so I can get a good, a good three on there if I start on the bottom part of his head, one here, and then one right above his stinger. Okay, so I'm going to finish that. Then with um, a really super light pink. I don't want white. I just want a light pink. I'm going in and I'm just going to make some really simple daisies like this. And Matt keeps the... the, the um, design. If I made them really white, they're going to they're going to be too bright and the bees aren't going to show up as much. So if you make them a little bit light pink, it, they kind of just blend into the design and then the bees are the the main focus. And you'll see what I mean when I add his little uh, wings. There we go. Okay, now with the bumblebees, I'm going to go in with white and with little tiny swipes, I'm going to go a big swipe like this, and then a littler swipe like that, okay? And then the big one, and then a little one, like that. And do you see because they're white, and then the, the flower is pink, now they don't, like, co they don't get in the way of each other. So then, with the white dots, I'm going to go right down the middle of the yellow stripes, like that, dot, dot, dot. And then you'll see that they all come to life like that. So we are going to do one more. One big one like this, and then a littler one like this, and then a big one like this. Wait. A bigger one like this, and then a littler one like this, and then dot, dot, 
dot, and there we finish our bee. So there we go, there's that. And I, oh, and I put a little black dot in the center of each flower. Now quickly, I'm just gonna do like a little bee line. <laughs> bee line. <laughs> That's where it comes from, the it's bee the, line. The bee line. Oh. I'm making a little bee line for the pink sky. That's where we're making a bee line for, right, Mammy? Mm-hmm. So Aww. it's gonna go like this and see how it makes just I don't want to do too many lines. So, so see that just is the only one I'm gonna be line. And then the rest I'm gonna leave without the line. Because if you get too many lines going on in the same design, it's gonna look really, really overly done. So we're just gonna keep it very simple. And then I'm gonna top coat and show you the finished product. Okay, and we are finished and let me scroll in. Okay, let me try to get uh, yeah, like that. Wait, let's see like this. This area. There we go. Now, I'm going to try to adjust them so that you can see them in different lights because this is the time of day where you really can't see the color more than ever. So, these are, imagine the brightest nails you ever saw, and that's what these nails are. <laughs> so, here are the bumblebees, and I hope you guys learned a lot. And I don't know if there are a lot of bumblebees online I haven't seen, so I hope that you guys like them and you share them. And if you do them, please say that Robin Moses inspired you somewhere in the design. And um, I have more coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please join my fan page, Robin Moses Nail Art, at Facebook. And I will see you later with more. Bye! Bye! Bye!